tired of the struggle. All I know is the hustle. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing fine. For those of you who are new here, I'm Azaria and this is my channel, Artistically Beautiful. And for those of you guys who are returning, hello, welcome back. Okay, so before we begin this video, I want to start off with some deep breaths. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Let's breathe in and breathe out. One more time. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Okay, let me silence my phone. Okay, so I'm really excited to talk about the topic that we're going to be discussing today. So basically, we're going to be talking about reparenting ourselves. Growing up, we've all had some form of parenting or some form of preconditioning that told us this is the right way to do things and this is the wrong way to do things. Be it consciously, like meaning your parents told you specifically, don't do this or you're supposed to do this or you're supposed to be like this or subconsciously. Um, and by subconsciously, I mean maybe seeing the things that they do, like seeing their behaviors or s taking in your environment around you, seeing what everyone else around you was doing. So you subconsciously thought this must be the right thing to do um, because it's constantly happening or because everyone around me is doing it or because my parents are doing it or my guardians or whatever. So I learned on my journey towards, you know, healing and things of that nature that there are a lot of things that I need to relearn or first there are a lot of things that I need to unlearn and there are a lot of, there are a lot of habits that I need to learn so I realized that I had to take the role of parent in my own life because some things I did not get taught as a child and there are also some things that I was taught that I just don't think it's right to be completely honest and transparent so because I care so deeply about this topic I took the liberty of making some notes so this is going to be kind of a structured video I'm going to try to make it a structured video okay so the first thing I wrote down is childhood trauma meaning in order to begin to know that there are some things you need to relearn or unlearn in your life you have to go back to where it all began what did I learn that isn't right or that could be toxic or is detrimental to myself what did I learn in my childhood that I just that just isn't benefiting me or serving me in any healthy way so you have to go back and you have to realize the root of the problem you have to realize what childhood experiences negatively affected me one of mine was negative talk or verbal abuse so there were some things that were said to me that made me feel invaluable as a child and I carried that with me in my adulthood so my guardian or my parent would say um you don't have to be here or I can send you back or we or something of that nature and I was actually journaling journaling about this the other day because it came up because I was like why am I feeling this way so I started journaling and I realized oh because they said such and such such to me and I was like this makes a whole lot of sense so because I felt in unvalued and replaceable I brought that into my adulthood and it made me feel like anyone whose life I am in I'm not really that important or they don't really care about me and it made me question everything um, that someone I who who I cared about did like are they doing this because they're tired of me or are they doing this because they want to get rid of me or are they doing this because they don't want to be my friend anymore like constant questions 
And so once I realized the root of the problem, I started to affirm to myself that you are valuable. You are worth it. You have purpose and anyone whose life you are in, they are they have a valuable person in them in their lives. So I had to go back and see like why am I like this? And this can be anything in life. This can be why do you overeat or why do you talk negatively about yourself or why do you compare yourself to other people? Like what were you told as a child? Like what what habits did you pick up as a child? Like I realized that sometimes I use food as a form of comfort because I didn't have the most loving and warm youth. So a lot of things I am starting to learn now about myself can be traced back to how I grew up and what I was taught. The next thing I wrote is facing the effects of childhood trauma. Things don't just get better when you leave a toxic situation. You have to actually put in the work, time, and effort sweat blood and tears and all of that in order to fix the damage because I like to use this as an example so you know how a natural disaster comes a hurricane or a tornado just because the storm ends just because it's no longer happening doesn't mean that there are not damages that need to be repaired there are not losses that need to be that need to be healed So just like after a natural disaster, you have to do some cleaning up and rebuilding. Once you are out of a traumatic environment or a toxic environment, you have to then do the work inside of you to fix whatever damages that experience left you with. I wanted to add in that childhood childhood trauma could result in toxic behaviors, mental illnesses, and the inability to properly express and deal with emotions. And that is a big one. The last one is a big one. Um, Well, actually, all of them are big, but I specifically want to dive into the last one. So many of us have learned to shove our emotions down instead of actually finding a way to work through them. So they stay stuck inside of us waiting to come to the surface. And I saw this in myself and I see this in a lot of the people I'm around every day. Even people on TikTok who use like humor and things like that to cope with feelings or trauma that they have yet to deal with. And I did the same thing. It wasn't until this year that I realized subconsciously, even though I felt like I was emotional or I felt like I was very sensitive, I was not dealing with the root of the problem. The root of the problem weren't these emotions that were coming up. The root of the problem was the trauma that I was, that I had shoved deep inside of me. And it was causing all of these toxic traits, toxic habits, mental illness, anxiety, depression, like to come up. And I didn't realize that it's because I have things that I am afraid to deal with. And it is okay to be afraid to deal with those things. It is okay to, to not want to relive those things. It is 100% okay. But there comes a time where you have to decide that the way that I am going about this is no longer serving me. I cannot keep ignoring these thoughts. I cannot keep ignoring these feelings because the longer that I ignore them, the longer they are going to be inside of me. You have to get the courage to release them. And I know it is difficult. I know it is very, very hard. So what I recommend, I would recommend journaling. I would recommend I would recommend speaking with someone who has experienced something similar because I've learned through my experience that when I can talk to someone who's gone through the same thing it makes me feel less alone but it also shows me that if they can get through it I can if they can heal from it so can I another mental illness that I feel like I've been experiencing is kind of these deep deep depressive states like they can go on for months well not now thank god but 
last year in particular, they could go on for months. And I didn't even understand that that depression. I thought it was because of something chronic or but honestly it was because I had so much garbage inside of me that I had not released or healed from that I was experiencing those deep depressive periods of time and they would last for so long and they would be so horrible it's it's very indescribable but for one example is when time it hit me and I literally laid on my living room floor for about a week just watching Netflix just not wanting to get up just lay there for about a week I really 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 wanted to like end it all but I didn't thank God but that was a toughie that right there that was a toughie but anyway that's that it's not funny but <sighs> the next thing i want to talk about is how to begin repairing the damage so after the storm has ended how can we begin repairing everything that that situation seems to have taken from us or put us through how do we repair that damage so the first thing I wrote is to be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself is like saying, okay, what happened isn't okay. And just because I'm out of it doesn't mean I'm okay. Now I have to do the work to heal through it, which I mentioned earlier. I wrote, it is often hard to even admit that we are affected by trauma and to realize the toxic traits we got from the childhood trauma. A lot of trauma, let me be completely blunt and transparent, a lot of trauma is so normalized that sometimes we trick ourselves into believing that it's okay. Or sometimes the world tricks us into believing that what happened isn't that bad or it's so normal. Because a lot of parents really gaslight you. A lot of parents really be... dragging it honestly they really be dragging it and so because a lot of parents parent that way we think oh that's okay and so what we do is internalize that and pass it on to our children because some of the stuff honestly it be dragging really be dragging but anyway <laughs> The next thing I wrote is start listening to yourself. We have to listen when our bodies tell us we are tired. We have to listen when our minds feel overwhelmed. And instead of getting upset at ourselves for not feeling like getting things done, we have to ask ourselves what is happening to make us feel a certain way. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of trauma, a lot of things that we have inside of us cause us to feel lazy, depressed, anxious, all of these subconscious Things we hold inside of us can contribute to conscious disasters, basically. Conscious parts of us that are always angry or always complaining about something or always losing our temper or always late, laying in bed or always late or whatever, whatever, whatever. So instead of getting upset at all, at ourselves like we may have learned to do as children like maybe your parents got upset at any little mistake that you did or anything that you did that they didn't like instead of doing that we are reparenting ourselves so we are going to be gentle and kind because you cannot solve a problem the way that it was created you just can't so you have to actually listen to yourself. You have to listen to your inner child that wasn't listened to when you were younger. You have to actually ask yourself, okay, what is it? What's going on? And you have to be willing to listen no matter what the answer is. Because that is the care and that is the parenting that we all deserve and so because we did not receive that when we were younger now we have to go ahead and give it to ourselves now so you have to be willing to hear what it is that you have to say you have to be willing to listen to your mind and body like 
why do I feel sick? And instead of pushing yourselves to the limit like the world tells us to do, sometimes you have to actually rest. You have to treat yourself like you would want your parent to treat you with kindness, with an open ear, with understanding, with gent- with gentleness. So <clears throat> we have to learn to be gentle and kind with ourselves. Last thing I wrote in this section is cater to yourself, take into account how hard you are working. And I say to take into account how hard you are working because this is not easy work. I do not want to sit here and make you guys think that it's easy because it is literally one of the most difficult things that I've had to do because not only did I have to admit that I have some problems, but I had to actually go back and look and there have been a lot a lot of tears and I have been so upset and hurt all over again like how could I think that was normal or how could they do that to me and of course we get past that we get to the forgiveness stage of ourselves and of the people who may have put you in that in that predicament because one thing I do want to make known is sometimes people only do what they know So sometimes they were taught this is right and they bring it to you and they didn't have the tools or the understanding to get help or to heal. That's some cases. Some cases people are just mean and cruel. That's the harsh reality of it. But regardless of other people, you have to realize that this isn't easy, but it is also not impossible. So, this is why catering to yourself and listening to yourself and reassuring yourself and affirming is so important during this healing journey because it's going to be a whirlwind. It's going to be a whirlwind. All of these emotions, all of the things shoved down inside of you is going to come back up and you're probably going to feel crazy for a little bit but it gets better. Another thing I want to say is I would take healing at a slow pace and not try to rush head like head first into it because like I said it's very difficult and the more you ease yourself into it the easier it can be. So the last last little tip I have is put in the work. Before I go any further I want to say I believe that you all have the capability, the ability to heal yourselves, to go through this process, to be brave, to have the courage to say I am stronger than whatever it is that I went through so let me look it in the space and conquer it. I I want nothing but the best for everyone who has gone through some traumatic stuff. So. When I say put in the work, it is because I believe that you can. If I didn't believe that everyone had the ability to heal, then I would not say put in the work. But there comes a time where I would hate for anything in the past to still be lingering over me. I'm 21 and I am working diligently to heal everything. Because once I blow up, that is going to be left in the past. If you thought you knew, if you think you know me based on a past version of me, you don't know me. And I want that for every one. I want that for every single person watching this video, even the people who ain't. Because I believe that we all deserve it. So, put in the work. And this is what I wrote. We may have to seek spiritual counsel or therapy in order to get help with our childhood. Because there are always people who know a little bit more, who have experienced it, who have went through it. And getting help? (sighs) If there is someone who has gone through your situation and they have lived through it and healed from it, I would definitely speak to them. Because some of the best messages and some of the best like 
motivational talks I received have been through people have been from people who have actually experienced some stuff in life so that is a huge huge tip go ahead and talk to someone because sometimes we can't do it alone and that's fine that's okay we're going to give ourselves some grace and say okay now I need help and that's what we're going to do The next thing is we should hold ourselves accountable and begin reinforcing positive behaviors in ourselves. Meaning, if we slide back into old toxic behaviors, that's fine, that's good, but we're going to make it known to ourselves in our mind, we don't do that anymore. That's not who I am anymore. I'm not saying be cruel to yourself in any way. All I believe in is giving yourself some grace. Because we all make mistakes and we all go back to that old version of ourselves sometimes. But we want to make sure that we tell ourselves that that's not okay. We don't do that anymore. I'm not that person anymore. At the same time, when we are doing well, when we are affirming our power and we are stepping out and being courageous and brave human beings, we're going to give ourselves the props we deserve. Because we are reparenting ourselves. And when you achieve something as a child, your parent says, I'm proud of you. So that's what we're going to be saying to ourselves. We're going to be saying to ourselves, I'm proud of you. You're killing it. Oh my goodness. This is me. You are really, really doing a great job. So we're going to affirm to ourselves that we are the absolute best. So... We're going to go ahead and reinforce those positive behaviors. Next, we should begin to breathe before lashing out and asking yourself what what is causing the emotion you're feeling. This can help prevent us from making decisions based off our emotions. So that is a very important point to me because, like I said, trauma can cause us to become people that we are not. Trauma can cause us to have emotions that do not belong to us they can cause us to lash out and say things that we do not mean so once we start to realize okay these are the habits that come with the trauma these are the emotions that i have because of the trauma these are the mental illnesses that that are the effect of the trauma now we have to go and look at, at our daily lives So if you're in an argument or if you're talking or if someone does something to tick you off with the person that I am outside of the trauma react in a harsh way, would I yell, would I get upset? Is are all those just the trauma version of me, the survival mode version of me, the toxic version of me? So once we start really differentiating between the person that we are because of trauma and who we truly are that is when we can begin to stop ourselves in our tracks when we are acting out of trauma and acting out of toxicity (sighs) honestly this reparenting yourself is a full-time job but it is so 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 worth it because once you start actually caring about yourself the way that you should have been cared for when you were a child, you realize that you are not what your parents may have said about you. You're not that bad. You are don't talk too much or whatever it is that they told you was right or wrong. You you have full control to come up with your own definition of what is right, what is wrong, and it can be freeing and true to you because no one shoved any falsehoods down your throat. You came you came up with this based on who you truly are. And I think that is absolutely great. So, I think that is all for today's video. I really, really enjoyed speaking to you guys, and I hope that I made sense throughout this video. I feel like I did. I actually woke up really early today. I'm feeling like, feeling on fire. But once I go back and watch this video, we'll see if I was really on fire. But I hope that my message really reached some of you guys, or all of you guys, and I hope that you guys will take some of the tips that I gave you guys in this video. 
without further ado, I love you all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful. Oh my.